Hello, my name's Mandy and this is my channel, Make It So. Hi, welcome to my fourth edition of Friday Sews. Thank you to Jen from the Today in Jen's Sewing Room for the hashtag uh, where you can search on YouTube and find all the different vloggers that do Friday Sews. Um, I'm filming this actually on a Saturday because I had quite a busy weekend last weekend at the Knitting and Stitching show which I'm going to do a separate vlog about um, but I've also had my vaccinations as I work in healthcare on Monday afternoon and I'll be honest I have felt rubbish since so I still am not feeling great but I really want to share what I've been doing this week in the sewing world so, first thing I've done was I went back to my daughter's Tilly and the Button Stella hoodie and I unpicked the band, or sorry, not the band, the hem at the bottom um, and I've added a band and I also added the pocket that I was talking about and I'm quite chuffed with how I've managed to match the pattern because I'll be honest, I've never actually done this on a, a pocket or on a top before so it's not too bad and she's happy with it and the band just adds that extra length that she needed um, because she is quite tall so that was my first project done and that did take me all afternoon on Tuesday I hadn't quite started feeling the effects of the vaccine then so I managed to get that done before it kicked in that evening on Tuesday evening after I'd finished the hoodie I started cutting out the Deer and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit. As you know, I've already made two of these and I find them so comfortable and really easy to make that I thought, why not make another one? Um, I pondered about this because, like I say, they are like secret pyjamas and they are so comfortable. And I thought, how could I do it differently so that it wasn't quite a jumpsuit, but I still have the comfort of the trousers? So I decided to do a little hack on it. Um, what I did was, where you've got the picture, I thought about it and I thought, I want the waistband that comes on the jumpsuit, but how am I going to do it so it doesn't need the top half to keep it up? Um, so I used some scuba that I had, some navy scuba, so it's quite plain stuff to use just to see how it went. And what I did was I extended both waistbands to be wider. So the same width, just wider, so that I could fold it in half and attach it like you would if you're doing the jumpsuit for the bottom half of the trousers. Um, so I still kept the pockets and I'll insert a video just to show you what they look like. I'm wearing them at the moment, but see if you can see where I've gone. So I've got the waistband here. They are a bit big, but to be honest, they're still nice and comfy then. And they've still got all the pleats that they come with and everything. But they're just trousers. So I can alternate what I'm wearing on top. Um, I want to make another deer and doe with different coloured um, tops and bottoms. So that's another little hack I want to have a go at. Although it's not really a hack, it's just changing how it looked from what I've done before. So. I did most of that on the social um, and all I had to do when I, f I was getting a bit tired by the time it finished so I finished the next day just had to do the side seams and it's great so I might have to make a few of them and have some trousers like that in my staples because they're nice and loose fitting. Then Thursday I attended Dearham Stitches my um, charity group that I go to every Thursday when I can and I started cutting out in the morning another Whistler top. Uh, if you saw my last um, vlog, you would have seen that I made one in a mustard yellow. So I've done exactly the same style again without the gatherings because this material, I did have a sample to show you of it. Let me have a look. Here we go, by magic. Um, it's, it was in my stash and when I looked at it in the, in the drawer, I was like, why did I buy that? It's grey. I'm not keen on grey, but when I got it out, 
I realised what attracted me to it and that was the sparkle and I'm hoping that it shows up on the camera because when I take a photo of it you can't really see it but it's just a funny, ignore my phone, um, it's just a funny backing on it so when I was sewing with it it did start to fray but I managed to do it and as you can see it's got pockets and I found a lovely button that I could put on it and I've got a plan to do two more um, one of them I'm thinking of changing slightly because it's slightly thinner material and I'm hoping to do gathering on the top bit that on one of the stars it gives you um, and I also might do one with the hood but I do like this shawl colour and I just think it gives it that it's a bit of a smarter look for a um, for a sweatshirt top so that's what I made after the knitting and stitching show where my fabric band was lifted and I will show you my haul from that in that video um, I did come home because I tried to be well behaved and I looked on Pam Fabrics for some ideas for some of the patterns that I bought there so the first thing I got um, I am giving you a sneak of what one pattern I bought from the sew over it stand but that was one of their newer patterns the viola dress and blouse and I'd seen this fabric before on Pound Fabrics and it gave me a bit of Christmas vibes when I looked at it. So I'll just show you that one. And it's actually called Floral Land on Navy and it's a cotton lawn fabric. So I bought four metres of that because you do need quite a lot with all the gathers in that dress. Um, so that's one of my plans for November. And then after that, I'd seen this one actually at the show. Bear with me. Oh. And this is a floral digital modal touch jersey. And it just gave me real autumnal vibes. And it just feels so soft. And it's really colorful. And on the back, it's like, it's black, but it's really soft to touch. Um, when I got it I was planning to do a sew over it Estelle dress but since I've received it I've decided I'm going to do a deer and doe Sirocco funny enough um, because it's got a nice stretch to it but it also comes back so I think that would be great as a jumpsuit so that's one of my plans for this week to make that one um, they just need a quick wash first. Also, I fell in love with this one before, but because I was on a fabric ban, I did resist. Um, as soon as you see the colour, you'll probably see why I got it, because it's purple. But this one is a French terry, and it's called Shooting Stars. So it's got a bit of stretch again. And it is quite thin, but this is, I'm not sure if I will do the gather top with this one because I don't want to hide the lovely pattern. But you can see it's so bright. I just think that'll look lovely as a whistler top from Love Notions. The next one I've got, I'm getting buried here already. Um, my friend doesn't watch this, luckily. Um, I always go around my friends for Halloween and we dress up and I try to make my outfit if I can. So I'll show you the pattern first. It's one I've had in my stash for ages. It's called the Jenna dress and it's by hand London patterns. And with the collar, that gave me some Wednesday Adam vibes. But I'm thinking of changing it slightly because I know her collar's quite pointy. So I just bought some black poly cotton and some white poly cotton and I'm hoping I can make dress A, that one. I also got some haberdashery items from Pound Fabrics, so part of my haul. I got some uh, organic ribbed cuffing in a denim blue and also some in teal. 
Um, I haven't got a particular project in mind, but I do struggle to get um, colours when they're in stock. So while I was ordering my fabric, I thought I'd add them on there. And my last thing from Pound Fabrics was some invisible zips because I'm hoping to master them and make another summer in New York dress to buy Seasons of East. What are my plans for the coming week? I'm going to be starting on uh, the Deer and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit with that lovely autumnal fabric I just showed you. Um, also, if I can, the Whistler top um, because I really want to make that, fan, that one up because I think it's going to look lovely. Um, and also the blouse that I've chosen for my Think Pink subscription box. Um, I have got a few night shifts coming up, but after that I'm attending my fortnightly Friday uh, Walpole social group. Um, so I can take some sewing with me there because we get quite a lot of time to sew as well as chat <laughs> and eat cake. And then on Sunday we're driving down to Essex and I'm going to a new Essex social, a lovely lady set up. Um, there's going to be quite a few people there that I follow on Instagram so hopefully we can catch up in person. So I've got quite an eventful week in the sewing world and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll let you know all about that next week. So bye for now. If you haven't subscribed already, please do because it lets you know when my next video is out. And if you could like it, that'd be great. And any comments, what you're up to, let me know. See you later. Bye.